How you doing guys? This is Adrian Jr. and I run a YouTube channel called Sin City Outdoors. And I just want to get it out there really quick uh, that if you guys click this video, it's either A, 1, because your dog has got, is having seizures, or 2, because you're a subscriber. Now if your dog is having seizures, um, it's a really sad thing, honestly. My dog was having seizures, that's why we're making this video. It's a scary thing to watch and all that, but we're, we're going to kind of tell you the story of what happened to, to my dog and, you know, how we figured out what we think was causing seizures and all that. But by no means am I a medical professional at all. Uh, I really recommend you guys take him to a vet just to see what's happening, but we're going to tell you the whole story of us taking him to the vet and everything. Uh, but other than that, we're just going to tell you the story and I'm going to introduce you to my dog, Diesel, right now. So this is my dog, Diesel, right here. He's the eight-month-old German short hair pointer. And, uh... I'll tell you what, he's a real hyper dog. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't even hardly like being held. But uh, we've been working, I've been working with this dog a whole lot actually. I've been training him. You know, he, he has a champion bloodline. I have some friends that bred him for me. And uh, we're training him, hoping he'll become a champion one day also. He's going to be hunting with us. But this is the dog that was having the seizures. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and break down the story of him. And he hardly even likes being held. So I'm going to go ahead and let him go right now. So Diesel's downstairs now. Uh, I'm going to start breaking down the story a little bit. So uh, it all started, uh, I can't remember what we were doing. I think I was, we were all out in front in the front yard for some reason. We were letting Diesel run out there. You know, no biggie. He's ran out there a couple times. We are just messing around with him, throwing a ball, having him go retrieve it and everything. You know, same old, same old stuff. He's kind of training it, training him to retrieve and stuff. So that day, we actually noticed he was chewing something, you know. Now, this dog chews absolutely everything. He eats bark, grass, rocks. Well, he's eat yeah, he's even eaten rocks before. The, the dog is crazy. He eats everything. So, he was chewing this something in the grass. He was laying in the grass, and he was chewing something. And we went. Uh, I went to try to get it out of his mouth. And the thing about this dog is every time, right when you get near him and try to get something out of his mouth, he'll always swallow it. So, I didn't think nothing big of it. Oh, he might have eaten some grass or a little piece of bark or something. And... No biggie, you know, that. but what happened is that night, you know, at like it was like 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, we actually, it sounded like somebody was breaking in the house, because now Diesel, he chews so much stuff that we actually kill him at night. We kill him at night because if we don't, you know, everything will be torn up. So that night, it actually sounded like somebody was breaking in our house. So my dad comes running around the corner with a shotgun pointed at the door and everything, and I come peeking around looking downstairs. And when we go down and try to investigate, see what happened, because we kept hearing this real loud noise. You know, we look over, Diesel's near the front door. We see Diesel. He just had, like, slobber all over his face and everything. And uh, granted, we never had experience with a dog with seizures, so we didn't know what it was. We thought he just might have had a nightmare or was drooling at night. But he had drool and was kind of acting funky. But we thought, you know, he was in a dead of sleep, and we came peeling around a corner all loud. And... Uh, we thought he woke up all funky, but uh, here's some footage from that. Uh, this is an educational video. All the footage I'm going to be showing of the dog. We're going to be showing a seizure also later in the video. Uh, you know, it's not pretty. I'll tell you guys what. It is a dog having seizures. It's not a pretty sight at all. You know, it's actually kind of hard to watch. So, you know, unless you guys are here for educational purposes or, you, you know, you guys don't really want to see this, this, you guys, is fair warning for this video. We are going to be showing, you know, my dog having seizures and it can be hard to watch, so if you guys don't like that, uh, I recommend you guys leave. My dog right now, he just kind of regained consciousness, but he was foaming from the mouth. I kind of already wiped it. You can see slob right there, and it just feels like he's not in the right state of mind. He's moving weird. He's kind of staring off to nothing. I don't really know what happened, He, but no aggression or nothing, so I don't know what's going on, though. This is just, just started, so we'll, we'll have to see. Throw it up. He was in a dead sleep when this happened. Unresponsive diesel. He might have horrible There we thing. go. It's the first response I got out of him. So the crazy thing about that is we didn't know it was a seizure or anything, you know, we thought he had a nightmare and woke up, it was drooling all over the place, but the next morning and you know, the next couple days actually, it was like two or three days passed by, he was acting perfectly normal, perfectly fine and everything, but uh, it came time to where my dad, my brother and I decided it was time to clean out the garage. No biggie, you know, we always clean out the garage. So we're out there cleaning out the garage and uh, we let Diesel run in the front yard again, not knowing uh, that 
there was something bad out there. So we're out there trying to clean up the front, uh, the garage, and Diesel's running around, and once again, I see him in the grass. He's in the grass, he's chewing up something again, and once again, you know, he might have been sitting there longer chewing whatever it was. I don't know how long, but I caught him chewing something. So I went out there to try to get it out of his mouth, whatever he was chewing, and once again, he swallowed. You know, no big, he might have been bark, you know, um, might have been bark, whatever. So when we're done cleaning the garage, you know, we, we put it all away, um, organize everything, get it done. You know, we go inside, then Diesel actually has a, a, a legit seizure in front of us. So this is the first time we noticed, you know, that wasn't a nightmare that night before. It more than likely was a seizure because of the same things we, we saw in this day seizure. So this is footage from that seizure. This is the first seizure we actually saw, you know, in person, like he seized up in front of us. And once again, it is not pretty at all. If you guys, you know, this one's way worse than the first one in my opinion. So uh, if you guys don't want to see this, once again, your fair warning to, to exit the video. Listen, listen. Did he roll all the way down the stairs? That's why he was acting weird earlier. That's why he did that night. I told you he had a seizure. Listen. He just rolled all the way down the stairs. This is why you do that from here. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Get something to wipe that out later. This one. This one, you alright? This one. Why, wipe it all up. Wipe his face, yeah. Take him in. To the vet? No, to the vet. He did have a seizure that night, huh? Mm-hmm. Wait, why does he have seizures like that? So that was actually pretty hard to watch for me, at least I, I'm assuming everybody else too, but that seizure actually started halfway up our stairs. So he started seizing up, rolled all the way down the stairs, and at the bottom right there is uh, where you guys actually started seeing that, that footage from. So we immediately took him to the vet, you know, but the crazy thing about that is right after his seizure, he got up and he started walking like blindly. He started running into walls and he actually started pooping and peeing and left a big poop and pee trail. Uh, that was kind of hard, but we immediately took him to the vet to see what was going on. So that was a little bit of footage I had from the vet. Now. The vet, long story short, the vet, you know, they didn't know exactly what was going wrong with them, so they drew blood and all this, and uh, they said everything looked normal, and they tried to diagnose him with epilepsy. Now, they were trying to give him two pills a day for the rest of his life. Now, the problem with them getting epilepsy, uh, I wasn't completely buying it. Nobody that, you know, knows Diesel was buying it, because if you look at Diesel's, you know, bloodline and where he comes from, his bloodline literally... I can look at who his great 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 grandpa was just about literally and on both sides and there's no epilepsy and epilepsy is more than likely genetic they say it's always usually a genetic thing now we weren't buying that it was epilepsy so because of the fact we weren't buying that it's epilepsy we went home and we started to break down what we think it was but the next two days after we took him to the vet were horrible you know he was hurting he was weak he could barely do do anything. He looked blind. He, you know, we were trying to nurture him back to health, and in the process, we were trying to break it down. And this is when I actually remembered that he was chewing stuff in the front yard. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that footage, you know, from the the two days after the vet. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one. So at this point, you know, Diesel was just so weak and everything, you know, we thought there was no chance. We were already making arrangements for potentially putting him down because we didn't want him to stay in pain or anything. Because, you know, he was hardly eating, hardly moving, looked blind. He couldn't really walk. He was peeing and pooping just right there on his blanket. You okay? 
You're right. You're okay. You're all right. And he's breathing hard. He's breathing real hard. You're all right. You're all right. We'll get it all figured out. The, the whites of his eyes are just extremely red. So in the process of us trying to revive Diesel, we're just giving him some boiled chicken. We've been feeding him a little bit and he's actually starting to, to walk around and get better. So we're seeing some good signs like he's walking one or more chicken. Still having a hard time walk, but he wants chicken. He's actually walking now. He was bedridden for a while. But the process of us reviving him, it's also a way to get moisture in him through some juices. But he's eating finally. And he's drinking it up, so that's good. So, you know, we were still doing research and everything. And, you know, like I said, it popped to me that he was chewing stuff in the grass out in the front yard. Now, we started doing research. And we figure out that we just happen to have literally the most, one of the most poisonous plants in the world right in our front yard. It's called the sago palm. Now the sago palm, a lot of people, it turns out like 50% of dogs that even chew it at all end up dying. And if they chew one of the seeds from it, they're literally like 100% likely to, to not make it through. Now, uh, I thought that was crazy, you know, and it, it just clicked that he was sitting there in the grass chewing like little pieces of it and, and eating them and every time he would he would start having seizures and get sick and just bad things happen but you know Diesel when we figured this out we kept trying to nurture him back and he slowly slowly started to show you know better results he was getting better and better so as you guys can see Diesel's doing a whole lot better and he was having his seizures and stuff but he's up he's running around he's looking at the camera look what do you got what do you want to say all those people are worried about you, Diesel. What do you want to say, Diesel? What? Ooh. Diesel, here. No. Diesel, here. Drop. Good boy, good boy. Ooh, I wonder who shot that deer. It's a nice deer right there. Slick trick brought it and all. So, finally got the deer back from Vegas Valley Wildlife Studios. Chip did a great job on the deer. Velvet turned out awesome. This isn't going to be where he's going to stay. He's going to end up moving down there by the, by the other deer. So, he's probably going to end up in this room. How you doing, Diesel? Still want to show off to the camera, huh? Let's see your best move. Nice. Well... We're thinking about putting it right here, but we just got to find a spot for this javelina right next to the, the Cincy Outdoors little picture and stuff in the, in the beer girl. But uh, my deer head's probably going to go right there, right where the javelina is, next to this deer head. And my dad's deer is going to be done soon, and I think it's going to move. It's going to be right there, because his, he's got the, a right turn on it. Mine's got the left turn, semi-sneak. His is semi-sneak also. So it's going to be cool. We're going to have a velvet white. T uh, velvet mule deer right there, hard horn mule deer, and a uh, hard horn white tail. So that's gonna be actually pretty cool right there. It's gonna be on display and everything, so it's gonna look nice. So Diesel's recovery was, you know, a long process. You know, two weeks ago, it's about been about two weeks. You know, he was having his seizures, and you know, eventually, when he started getting better, when he started running around and stuff, he's biting my finger. <laughs> but when he was running around and stuff. It's hard to believe, but his seizures were so hard on him that he actually like lost all his memory. It's weird, but you know, I had to reteach him where his doggy door is, all his rules and all, all everything just about. Now we're slowly starting to teach him to hunt again. And it, it seems like slowly and slowly he's getting bits of his memory back as I kind of reteach him to him. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys actually saw a video of Diesel when he wasn't doing too good, you know, in the middle of the process, you know, us trying to figure it out. And I really do thank all the people that were helping me. A lot of people were trying to, you know, give advice and support and help and everything. Uh, so many people were trying to help me break down whether it was poisoning to epilepsy to just about everything. A lot of people with good knowledge and all that. But I really do thank everybody that was helping. And once again, if you guys aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. This is an outdoor YouTube channel. Diesel, you'll be seeing a lot more of him. And a lot of people have been watching Diesel grow up since a pup and we're kind of 
showing you guys a little bit of diesel as we go along so you guys will watch him grow old with us uh, now that he's doing good. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.